today we learned about the idea of slope. So we learned about slope being several different things. First of all, by definition, our slope is simply a rate of change. That's very important. It is our rate of change. When that slope is in, a, when we're looking at an equation in slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b form, remember our slope is the m. It's the value that is in front of the variable. It's always with x. Our slope can also be our rise and our run when we're looking at our graph. Our slope can also be our y's per our x's. So anytime we see the word per or ver variations of that like each or every, those are examples of words that keywords that may mean slope. And lastly, our slope can also be the slope formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So for us to find the slope from an equation, we need to solve this equation for y. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a line through the equal sign, label our sides, y's, and everything else. That means we need to move whatever it is that does not have y attached to it, which in this case is this 3x here. So to move that 3x, we're going to minus 3x from on the right side, and then it's gone on the left. Now we need to get rid of the number that's in front of y, which is this negative 4. Remember, negative 4 in front of y is multiplied by y. The opposite of multiplying by y is dividing. Sorry, the opposite of multiplying by negative 4 is dividing by negative 4. So that's gone, and I'm left with y equals 24 divided by negative 4 is negative 6. Negative 3 over negative 4 is positive. 3 over 4x. So my slope in this case would be the positive 3 over 4 because that's what's in front of x. So this would be my slope 3 over 4. To find the slope from a line we need to find two points that are on the line so that we can rise and run. So we've got a couple options here. When we're looking for points we want to make sure we find good clean points. So there's a good clean point at negative 3, negative 6, one at 0, negative 5, and one at positive 3, positive 3, negative 3, sorry. So to find my slope, I need to rise and run, which is count how much I would have to go up and over to get from one point to the next. So I would go up 1, and I would go up right 1, 2, 3. So my slope would be 1 third. If you wanted to verify that, try it again. So we'd go up 1 and over 1, 2, 3, and that would get me to the next point on my line. So my slope is positive 1 third. Find the slope in a word problem. Remember, we're looking for the word per or some form of that word. So some examples of that could be per. It could be each. It could be every. So we're looking for one of those words in our equation. So Ashley had $75 in her savings account, and each week she deposited $12. So each week she deposited $12. That tells us that our slope for this problem is the $12, because that's the rate of change. That's how much it's changing. And lastly, to find the slope from two points, we use our slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So remember, when the hardest part about this is just remembering which point is which. So we're going to use this point as y1 and x1, and we're going to use this point as y2 and x2. So first thing I'm going to do is draw my line and put my minus signs in there. I'm going to put my y values on top. Well, my first y value is negative 1. My second y value is positive 5. Then I'm put my x my y my x values, I'm sorry, on bottom. So three is gonna go on bottom and negative two is gonna go on bottom. Let's write that in green. So then we can do our math. And negative one minus five on top is gonna give us negative six. On the bottom, when I have three minus negative two, that's really three plus two, because two negatives makes a positive, and three plus two is five. So my slope would be negative six over five.